And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, Tuesday, the 6th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today. We're about midway through at this stage and are waiting on the RBA rate decision due out in about an hour's time. Uh, across the news, of course, we had that weaker session overnight as the Wall Street rally took a breather. Still in the balance as to whether the Fed will pause in 10 days' time. Very little data to move the market one way or the other. Uh, US futures are near neutral to start the Asian session. We did actually open up a, bit, a little low, but we recovered to some degree. And Asian markets are mixed despite that weak US lead. And when I say mixed, I mean everything's doing okay apart from the ASX, which is down half a percent prior to that RBA decision. European futures are pointing to a cautious open, and the VIX continues to drop to levels not seen since February 2020. The US dollar index was neutral overnight and near to recent highs. Not much movement today at all. A gold bounced off 1950. Again, it's pretty neutral in Asia. Uh, and copper did move higher to test a key level at 375. Uh, oil pulled back from that resistance level, giving up the gains from earlier in the day when it gapped up. Again, looks a little weak today, despite what OPEC Plus said and the Saudis yesterday. Uh, Bitcoin also looks under pressure. It's now testing March levels. And of course, as well as the RBA decision, we do have some other things going on in the world, but not much on a fairly quiet day today. German factory orders and Eurozone retail sales are released later. A couple of charts have caught our eye. Obviously, it's well worth keeping an eye on any Aussie dollar crosses. But for now, we're looking at the GB pound Canadian dollar on the 30 minute chart. And you can see it looks as though it's shaping up for a technical reverse head and shoulders pattern. There's the shoulder. There's the head. There's the shoulder. Uh, and we've put a key level here around about 167.24. We think there's possibly about 35 to 40 pips in the short term, but it is a fairly clean run up to this R2 level at 167.93, which would be a gain of just under 70 pips. On the ASX, coal stocks are looking strong today after being really mutilated since the start of the year, uh, but New Hope are looking very perky as we see on, on the back of this candle here it has brought us up to a key level at five dollars you can see that this was support throughout much of may uh, before we had this recent pullback and looks as though this may go again possible move up in the first instance maybe around that 200 ema to possibly 530 which would represent a move higher uh, of around about five and a half percent so certainly one worth keeping on the radar uh, worthwhile being patient to make sure that we close or at least in the last hour are above that five dollar level trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now